Then we further prepare the graft. We cut the graft repeatedly with scissors. <coughs> Fine scissors are used. So we are going on cutting the graft till it is transformed into paste-like substance, the way that's shown on the right hand side. So instead of scissors, what you have seen is that we can even use scalpel blades. If you have any glass uh, surface, you can use scalpel blades and cut the graft into very small pieces. So this is how a smash graft looks like. It's just a paste-like thing. And this is on the on a glass surface. The recipient side preparation is the same as we do in other uh, tissue grafting or cellular grafting techniques. So one can use manual drum abraders, motorized drum abraders, resurfacing lasers, or even cryo. <clears throat> now, what how do we place this smash graft on the drum abraded surface? There are many ways. The smash graft can be spread with a simple graft spreader or even a nail spatula if you have, you just spread the paste like thing all over the dermabraded surface. Alternatively, what we have seen is that you can use hyaluronic acid <clears throat> and mix it with the smash graft in a 1 is to 1 ratio to improve the consistency and uniformity of the prepared graft material. This is a uh, hyaluronic acid injection that is used in ophthalmology and this costs around 300 rupees for one uh, injection. So it's not so